Okay, I drove over to my mama's house today because I've been thinking a lot about my loom and I think it is time to set her up. She's hiding. Well, Mama covered her. There we go. Now, I have not sat at a loom for 20 years, and when I did, it was a different one. So I'm going to, I guess, untie the strings, and I don't even know if she's facing the right way. It's going to be a process. All right, I haven't even started anything, and I'm already rummaging in the cabinets for chocolate to make myself feel better. So that's a great start. Like... That doesn't look permanent, does it? But something needs to go through a hole, right? This this looks like the one that holds the fabric. That looks like the one that holds the thread. And somehow the petals aren't connected to anything. So I guess I'm Googling that. Well, I just found out she was built between 1950 and 1974. This thing's old. Also that she's made out of cherry wood and there's not a whole lot of pictures on the internet of the darn things actually set up. Hmm. So we just leaned forward. That seems way up. Oh, oh, that's the beater. No, maybe. Well, we don't have a reed in it. But look, of all the counterintuitive things, look. Pull down makes the frames go up. Pedals. Crap, I need to look at an anatomy of a loom thing. But but down? Do I do a string there? Maybe? Huh. I, I called my mama and I found out where I left the reeds in the other room with the warping board that I don't think I'm going to use because, I don't know. Reed, awesome, yay. Now stuffed in there. And then this is what's really exciting. So I'm sitting here like there's supposed to be a horizontal member here that I can bang the reed towards, right? This is really important. Where is it? Where is it? So you see this? We're getting up. Well, boom, crash. Sorry. Okay, look. And that rotated down. Look, it's there. Oh my God. Did you hear how soundless that was? This is fantastic. And it exists. I was afraid it was lost. Now I just need to put something through those holes. So the pedals still aren't attached to the the these do hick these do hickeys, because that's something that you do once you have a pattern laid out, right? Um, but I guess the next step is putting thread on the this, and then setting up the pattern and and you know I want to go like whole width crazy but but I really ought to make something narrow right I don't want to I want to I want to be extra and make all the thing a huge thing let's see all right I have a warping board I think it's even looking how it's supposed to because it came from somebody else but I'm not up to figuring that out today so this is what we're doing feel free to laugh at me like in sections because if there's too much then it's definitely going to get tangled right do you use warping boards in sections i feel like you tie things off in sets of five right all right we're i have no idea obviously but we're we're going to call this enough this is our first experiment i looped them like you'd do an extension cord and next up is tying each little end to this doohickey and then spinning them onto it so they can wait patiently to be woven. I should probably point out again that I have no clue what I'm doing. Have have actually never done this before, just seen it done, and that was 20 years ago. Um also I seem to have I think it was 124 warp threads, which sounds like none at all and looks like rather a lot. We'll see. All right, continuing with the no idea what I'm doing thing. This 
this very satisfying giant thing manages which way this thing turns, right? So you need to be able to drag it towards you while you're sitting over there. And that's if you press this crap. This foot pedal makes that thing pull up and then this thing can rotate. So I'm going to sit here and like triple check my visualization because apparently which way you spin this when you're spooling these things on matters. Note to self, next time tie off my bundles a lot more frequently because how? How did I do this already? At least most of it looks okay. Is there no way to tension this? Do I just have to pet it into place constantly? Ah, I need to figure out how to tension it. I am probably doing a bad, messy job of this. And you know what? That is okay. There are only so many new things my brain can handle in a day. And I believe this will be usable. And that is all I can ask from it. And I shall do better next time. Okay, so when I was still detangling this, Mama came home. And then um, I was too self-conscious to make any more video. But um, I was tired by the time we got done detangling. And I should have just gone home and come back. But instead I insisted on sticking each little thread through a heddle. Then Mima helped me by dragging each little thread through the reed. And we did every other. Which meant that, oh my god, it's so loose and ugly and horrible. So... It was a little bit better with a thicker yarn. Moved it up so the tension was better. Now it's better again. Now with the chenille, it's actually nice. You can't really see the pattern, which I very carefully put in the heddles, but it feels really pleasant. So now we're trying something with even bigger pieces. And of course, you're telling me. Of course. Thank you, darling. Oops. Look how much better it looks with all this. So, rug. Get through this first disastrous threading by making a rug. Somebody will release the doohickey, and then this will be all loose, and I will cut it off the thing. And then I'll have her tie the rug off while I... Thank you, love. Um, Try and re-thread this into something more what I initially envisioned. No, no, no. And in no time at all, we have a rather lumpy first attempt at a weaving project. And it feels wonderful under the footsies. And I quite like it as a first attempt. And in my incredibly obvious realizations of the day, I don't have to marathon it from there, through here, through the reed, all the way to here all at once and that's exhausting frankly i can just do like a repeat and tie it off and then in a minute after well and then in, after a while after all of it's done i can sit down and then pull it through here and through here and then i can sit on the floor and figure out how to attach it to that properly because i screwed it up last time so yay breaking up tasks so i re-threaded the exact same warp threads, but going through each and every hole on the reed now, and with the pattern being one, two, three, four, and the baby's been playing with it, and it looks like that. It looks so much better with the denser weave structure now. Still learning. And as another experiment, here's what I was using. And then if I up it to this chunky stuff right here, and I should beat it tighter, shouldn't I? Then I get this beautiful, dense, I love it pattern. So things are definitely improving. Long way to go, lot to learn, but I'm feeling optimistic. I think this would make a good place map, but my sister doesn't sound enthusiastic, so I don't know what it should be. What do you think it should be?